<laughs> You're being super playful. Oh. <laughs> Young animals always entertain. They, they have such a good time and I'd imagine being young hippo must be quite fun when it's a little warmer you can bounce around in the water all over the place you can see the adults are not perturbed by this in any way whatsoever but it's always super cute watching the young ones bouncing around in the water and porpoising out and see if it's going to come back for more here we go <laughs> small young one <laughs> That's super cute. Let's see if it goes again. Natalie, you say you love hippos. They are adorable, aren't they? There's something about them that just endears one to a hippo. They have lots of character, and I just like their, especially as the babies, their little round ears, and they look super cute, and something just about hippos that draws your attention to them. And their call is also synonymous with Africa, so I suppose that is part of my enjoyment of them and and the fact that they are a pretty unique animal there's very few that are like very few animals that are similar in the way that they move around you can see there's Chitwa deck so that's where the guests spend their evenings having dinners watching over the dam it's very very pretty so one of the probably one of the nicest areas to spend time it's got the most beautiful view from that dam there's a pool there as well that people can have an afternoon swim while watching and they can have a look at Vlad as well who I've just noticed he's popped out there he is lying on the other bank you can see he's still quite wet so he must have come out a few minutes ago and has found himself a perfect bank to park off I wonder if he went that side because of the commotion of the elephants maybe all the Ellie's being around was just not what Vlad felt like and so off he went onto the other side now, some of you may be wondering, newer viewers, as to why we call this crocodile Vlad. Well, the answer is I have no idea. Brent Leo Smith, who is now in the Masai Mara, decided that this crocodile would be known as Vlad the Impaler. For what reason? I'm not sure, but that is what has been decided, and since then it is stuck, and now poor Vlad is known as Vlad, whether it's male or female. Right, from one dam to another, Tara is now at Gari Dam and she is still checking out those baboons and let's see if they're still alarm calling. 